That is the floating island. It's surrounded by an acrid vapor, and it can't be accessed without a special protective suit. Lizard comes safely through the acrid vapor. We must tell Marcus. Let's go. You say you saw a lizard in the vapor, and it wasn't harmed by it? So, there is hope for us. It's molting season for lizards now, and all we need to do is find a giant lizard, put it to sleep, and take its molted skin. I'll give you a sleep-inducing potion recipe. I think we could use some lizard skin as protection to get to the floating island unharmed. Now, about that bird of yours. I found no record of the bird, but I read something about a life-giving flame. That's what the ancients used to call it. The warrior that attacked you on the Twisted River was one of the desert people. A servant of darkness. He tried to kill you using darkness, but the bird of fire saved you. I think that Alice can control the flame in the same way the servant manipulated the darkness. I can't say why Alice received the power and how to control it, though. That's why our weapon is the only way to stop the darkness. I'll tell you more about it later on. For now, we need to do our best to get you to the floating island quickly. Bring me a lizard skin.
Oh, thank you for the unexpected gift. I'm glad I stayed here. You know everyone's left. Even those who can't fight the desert people were ordered to hide in the Forbidden City. I didn't want to leave. I just love these old cliffs. Marcus mentioned you have to make a strong sleeping potion, and you need a chloral hydrate crystal for that. Lucky you, I've got just what you need. That's a giant lizard. Don't go near it. It's very dangerous. Let's return to Marcus. I hope we have enough skin. We tried to use these capsules to treat rare diseases, but it looks like that didn't help this poor fellow.
you've got the skin. Fantastic. Now I can tell you about the weapon capable of destroying the castle. You see, we've been studying ways to make plants grow in the arid sands of the infinite desert. We haven't had much success. The only thing we've managed to create is a plant which can grow to enormous size within seconds. It sucks all the life force from the soil and from any living thing nearby. We're certain it will destroy the Castle of Darkness if planted in its center. We have just one seed ready. It's in the lab. For the seed to grow, it needs very special water from the spring on the floating island. In the lab, you'll find a capsule which can preserve all the attributes of the water that we need. Come back to me with that capsule, and I should have the suit ready by then. Alice, down at the bottom, under the water, there's something amazing. You put on the mask and tank, and I'll hold my breath. People from the town found this machine not long ago. Nobody has... I've seen drawings made with similar paints. They become clearer if lit by a special blue light.
The suit's ready. Unfortunately, there was only enough lizard skin for one small outfit. That's why you'll have to be the one to go to the floating island, Alice. After you cross through the vapor, you can take it off. Find the spring of special water. It's near the waterfall in one of the caves. This water has truly amazing properties, and it can make the sea grow quickly and destroy the castle of darkness. Be careful, my girl. Alice, after you cross through the vapor, you can take off the suit. But don't stay long. The air in the valley is harmful to us. I'll be waiting for you here. It's so strange here. I'd better climb up and take a look around. I need to find the caves. Hmm, looks like one of those things we saw in the...
must lead to the caves with the spring of special water we need to use against the castle of darkness. How do I get there? Stranger, I can't believe my eyes. You came here from the outside? 
I've never met anyone from there. I see you're almost like us. I'd like to tell my people in the village about this, but nobody will believe me. Can you bring me some sort of proof? I heard that your people are famous for their craft of eternal ice. Bring me something like this, and I'll be forever in your debt. substance Marcus told us about. I hope he's right, and this water will help us destroy the Castle of Darkness.
Thank you, Alice. I'm Annabelle. Nice to meet you. Now they're going to believe me. And I found this strange thing for you. It looks dangerous, but seems it belongs to your people. Take it. Who knows? It may come in handy. I hope we meet again. But I think it's time you left here. They say our air is harmful to you, just like yours is to us. Good luck! Alice, you're back! Did you bring the water? Fantastic. Let's find the seed. Mark it. I see you've already found the seed in the water. Excellent. Now, you must take it to the Castle of Darkness. You know, people think it's a bad idea to take such a huge risk. And everything will be even worse if the seed falls into the hands of the Servants of Darkness. 
But I believe this is our only chance to save the fertile lands. I'll gather all the battle-ready men, and we'll set off to the castle's main gates. We'll try to draw away as many guards as possible, and you two will get into the castle through a secret passage and plant the seed. I wish I didn't have to involve you in this, Alice. This is really no task for a child. But I'm positive your bird of fire came to you for a reason. That bird is our protection, delivered by destiny itself. I believe Colin will make sure you stay undetected, and your bird will protect you from danger. Now, set off for the desert. Be careful, and best of luck. Ready, Alice? You are? Then let's go. We'll stop the darkness while there's still time. These are the Howling Rocks. The land here is almost barren. From here, the Desert of Death is close at hand. There is the deathly castle itself. It's not careful, Alice. This flower. Can